Now, I have, I have another sort of bit of a... You could start walking Thelma around, actually, a little bit, and I'll start throwing the lines. Um, when I was a kid, all I really wanted to do was ride. And uh, all I wanted to do was ride. But my idea of riding, just a little tiny circle, Pet, down here, that's it, just a little tw 20. My idea of riding was that I wanted the horse to enjoy me. I wanted to communicate with my ponies. And I wanted to know that at the end of the ride, my pony actually enjoyed being with me. Even though as a little kid of 11 years old, I'd get on my pony and I'd ride it and I'd be as gentle as I could and as soft as I could and I'd get the best trot out of it. And I would always hope that at the end of the ride, the pony smiled and said, oh, she was nice. I wouldn't mind letting her get on my back again. And I never, it never occurred to me that that was quite intelligent. <laughs> I just did it because I loved horses. So when I long rein, I want my horse to really enjoy the time it has with me because it's a wonderful um, time in which you can watch your horse move without weight on its back. You can see that it's happy because it will smile at you. You can see that it's moving properly because you can watch its overprinting and the way it's moving. You can ob observe its energy and how it's responding to you. So the long rein is incredible. Now it was Monty Roberts. You can come a bit closer, sweetheart. Monty Roberts sent me off on a mission one day to go around all the riding establishments he could drive me to where the Mexicans drove me. There's there, okay? She's frightened of the long reins, okay? Now we've done this once, good girl. Oh, I'm so glad, Thelma. I'd hate her to be. Good girl, well done. Well done, good girl. It's all right, just let her settle. Just let her settle, that's it. Just let her settle, Petal. So Monty sent me round to all these riding establishments to watch horses being single line lunged. And I thought Monty was bonkers. I didn't know there was anything wrong with single line lunging. And of course there is, because horses are into pressure animals. They go against the pressure of the line. Oh, she's having a little shit here. Good girl. Good girl, Thelma. Good girl. Well done, Thelma. Good girl. Steady. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Can you see how important? Steady. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, we're going to stand her still. Good girl. So they go into the pressure of the line, and what happens is, oh, what a lovely snort. They will pull against the pressure of the single line, and in the end, you will notice that all the horses that have been single line lunge hang their heads out of the circle. They all do it. They will hang in every way possible, except that they won't go round in a circle with their head in the right place. And what happens then is they put their atlases out. And if you can put your atlas out, you can put the rest of your body out. Good girl. Good girl, have you forgotten all this? Thank you so much, Jo. So I just stop her because when a horse is standing still, they often don't bother with the long reins at all. So I'm going to give her a, a lovely sort of, it's okay, pet. It's all right, pet. There's a good girl. It's all right. Jo's going to clear up your poo. There's a good there's a good girl. There's a good girl. There's a good girl. Oh, this is good. This is really good. I didn't think she'd be this. I think it's probably because it's the lights and the place and, you know, we'll get wait till the poo's been picked up. So when she's standing still, she's much more likely not to bother about the lines being thrown on her. So if I get a horse that's as nervous as this, I start by just throwing the lines. And then in a minute, Oh, we've been de-pooed. Yes. Fantastic. We're going to walk on very slowly and I'm just going to chuck them up. Good girl, walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Good girl. See? Good girl. Good girl. Steady. Good girl. There is no way in a million years that I would put long reins on this horse with her attitude like this. I would work with her and work with her until she completely, um, she goes completely calm and drops her head and accepts the lines. Now, good old Monty, of course, he always worked in a round pen. 
I've never had a round pen, never had the luxury. I've had fields, good girl, steady, good girl, well done. Congratulate her, good girl, good girl. Of course, Philly with Warrior is really, really good at doing this because we, goodness, we did it for a long time, didn't we, Philly? Yeah. You're really rather experienced at this. Steady girl, good girl, much better, good girl, good girl, well done. Now your voice is what you really communicate with horses. And how, how many of you drive carriages? Any of you carriage drivers here? Yeah? No, no carriage drivers. Oh, you need to get into carriage driving. Um, good girl, well done, Thelma. When a horse is in the, um, in the shafts, honest to God, the only thing you've got to control it with is your voice. And all horses, in the old days, all horses, all right, we'll stand her still again, and I'll just do another good girl, Thelma. All, there, she's licking and chewing. All horses were trained on the long reins. Good girl. Good girl. We're trained on the long reins, and all thoroughbreds are trained on the long reins. You cannot possibly do anything else. So they're all trained to voice control. Okay, walking on a little bit, and I'll just throw these up as you walk. Walk on, good girly. Walk on, pet, good girl, good girl. Steady, steady, Thelma, steady, good girl. Good girl, what a good girl. So my voice is incredibly important because it's a huge part of how I communicate huge part that's much calmer now much calmer i'm going to pull it off and see if i can do that again philly always says that she never really gets dizzy but i know she does <laughs> well i worked on it i don't know what monty did <laughs> but it was quite an incredible experience to be with him in california and to see the way he rode because he was the most amazing horseman Okay, we're going to whoa, and we're going to go around the other way. Now, very often you'll find that a horse will be different on both sides because they don't transfer information from one side of their face to the other. So what they see with their left eye, they don't record with their right eye. So that's why your horse, when he goes out, he will panic when he sees a plastic bag in the hedge on the left. As you go past it, when you come back, he will panic again because he sees it with his right eye. And his right eye has not seen that plastic bag before or realized that it's actually full of carrots. Now, the reason for that is because the horse is a prey animal. And if a horse goes out and sees a lion with his left eye and the lion is sitting down eating and quite happy, and when he comes back, he sees the lion with his right eye, if he transferred that information, the lion would eat him. So he doesn't. So he's just as frightened of the lion when he comes back and checking it out as he was with the lion when he went out. Do you follow me? So it's very important that horses do not transfer information from one side of their mind to the other side of their mind, to, from one eye to the other eye. It's really important for their survival. Good girl. So this part of the work is terribly important. Please don't ever put long reins on until the horse you're working with is absolutely bomb-proof. Never do it. You'll just have an accident. Okay? Make sure it doesn't go rocking about all over the place because it is a bit high. So, as we don't know anything about this pony except he loves polos, <laughs> thank you. I spotted that monkey, monkey face. Okay, little tiny circle just around here, and we'll do the same thing again. I'm really glad that you're seeing this because it's so important. It's just so important to make sure your horse, little tiny circle, tiny pony, getting poor Ophelia get dizzy again. I did warn her, I said you'll get dizzy. We got very dizzy with Warrior, I can tell you. Didn't we, Philly? We got, he was, so I'm gonna do the same thing again. There we are, little bit of a reaction, yeah? Not too bad, but still a reaction. And I'm on this side as well. It's a little tiny circle. There's a good pony. There's a good pony. 
dear old Thelma, still a reaction. We'll have to get, um, we'll have to work her. Interesting, isn't it? See? So you wouldn't just put long reins on him. Somebody said he's been long reined. Well, so what? You know, I'm going to make sure that he's completely safe. Because I don't want to be dragged around a school on the end of a long reins going, ah, doing an impression of Fritz the cat. Thank you. There's a good pony. But I can see he's not really, he isn't, hasn't really engaged with me. He's, he's kind of interested. He's kind of trying to sort of engage with Philly a bit and, and uh, but he's not really listening to me. You always go to a 45 when you're driving at, um, at the side. You don't go straight out at, at sort of nine o'clock. Always go to a 45 because that's how you drive a horse. So I'm going to go and whoa, whoa, nothing. Okay, okay. So what I think we'll do is we'll do across the school and I'll go behind him, all right? Walk on, walk on, pet. Go straight across the school, straight line, back down, back down to the, to the uh, audience. Straight, straight back to the audience, Philly. That's it, that's it. Okay. So that I think I can do that with this pony. And whoa. Okay, let's tie the rope round his neck. You can walk with him. And I will, you can be, you can be madam. Sort of. Uh, and I will drive him from the back. Okay, so you've got my line if I need it. Okay, pet. Walk on. There's a good boy. Walk on. So Phil is there in case I need her, yeah? We're just going to do a bit of a circle here. She's there if I need her. Um, if anything happens, she can put her hand up immediately and get hold of that line and sort him out. But he seems pretty walk on. Okay, now what I'm going to ask Philly to do is our next bit, which is to walk slightly away from him and come back towards me through the lines. Walk on. And this could be tricky. That's it. Well done, Philly. Good. Walk on. Good pony. There you are. There's a good pony. Thanks, Philly. That's great. You're all right. You're redundant. <laughs> well done. Fantastic. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. There's a good pony. There's a good pony. Go on. So with two lines, I've got control of him. Yeah? So I can top him, stop him spinning. I can stop him trying to go somewhere where he doesn't want to go. It's not like being on a single line lunge. I'm basically riding him from the ground and I can tell him exactly where I want him to go, which might slightly piss him off actually. I get the feeling. <laughs> come on, no, come on, that's it. There's a good pony, I know, isn't it tough? Isn't it tough being told where to go? Isn't it boring? What a good little pony you are. You are, you are, aren't you? And shall we turn? Shall we turn? Oh, well done. That's your first turn on the long reins. How's that? Well, he says, I don't know, really. She's on the other side now. What am I going to do now? How am I going to get away from her? Very boring. Walking on. Walking on nicely. What a good pony. What a good pony you are. Yes. What a nice little pony. Yes, you are. He says, yeah, I know, but you're on the wrong side. You were on the other side earlier. What are you doing? Funny woman. I know, I'm a very funny woman. Walk on, walk on, walk on. Just because you want to stop doesn't mean I want to stop. Never let a horse stop at a gateway. Never let a horse stop where he wants to stop. Ever, ever, ever. If a horse decides he wants to stop somewhere, you jolly well make him walk on past that. Always, always. It's 49.51 and you're 51, the horse is 49. And that's the best relationship you'll ever get with a horse because they weigh more than you. There's a good pony, aren't you? And whoa. Oh, she's off. Whether any of you realize that, that like us, horses are left and right handed all horses have, 
We have to, oh, I'm going to put the bit up. Whoa, darling. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's too low. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was shit. I'm sorry, pet. That's better. God, she said it's right down my bloody mouth. What do you think you're doing? All horses like us are left and right-handed. Now, you wouldn't get on a tennis court, would you, if you were right-handed? If somebody said to you, go and play that tennis game in using a left-handed, putting your racket in the left hand, you'd say, I'm going to lose. But you do that to your horses all the time. You know, you get in a school and you think, oh, my horse doesn't canter very well on the left, so we're going to work on that all day. No. Leave the bloody thing alone. Work on what it can do and then back it up with a little bit of what it can't. Think about your tennis player. Realise that all your horses are left or right-handed. A few of them are ambidextrous, but I haven't met many. So you need to know that a horse is always going to have one side it favours. Don't wear it out. It's really important to build it up slowly and gradually. But remember that they're just like us. We're all mammals. We have the same brain. I think some horses have bigger brains than humans, actually. And, um, and we're all left or right-handed. So there's something I'm going to do, and I'll just run through a little program I do with the lovely Jet. Mwah. I love you. You're just gorgeous. Is that right? Yes, that'll do. That's good. OK, sweet pea, off we go. Love you. OK, so turn, turn. So Jet does everything, pretty much everything to command, everything. Um, but she's never been in, has she been in here before with me? No. Has she been in here with you? She has. But she's never been long reined in here. And we have a little system up in the top school. And she knows exactly where she is in that system. So we're now going to find a little circle. And finding a circle is about finding a circle. It's actually about knowing where that circle is in your school. So she will have to find out where this circle is. And she'll get it. She'll work it out. I don't even know where it is, actually. But it's here somewhere. We have to find it. We have to go on a circle search. Come on. There's a good girl. So when I first got her, she couldn't do that with her head. No way. Her head was stuck up. She had a very poor neck, very poorly developed neck, um, not much top line. And she, she walked like someone who had nappies on. It was awful. But look at her now. That's beautiful. Look. See? Head down. And, and, her, and she's stretching out. She couldn't do that with her front feet when I first started working with her. There's no way she could do that. And she just looks so beautiful and so elegant. And I'm just madly in love with her, really. Don't tell Cherie, though. Well, we'll just show you how wonderful she is. OK? Jet, darling, could you trot on? Trot. Love you. Trot on. Good girl. Trotting on. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous horse. Oh, my God. I love you. I love you. Look at you. You're so beautiful, aren't you? Aren't you gorgeous? Aren't you wonderful? I think we found our circle. I think we've got our circle. We've got it. We've, we've got it nailed. We, we, we're doing our circle now. We're good. We had to find the circle first, you see. And walk. Look at that. And turn. Turn. There you go. Good girl. And trot on. Good girl. Trotting on. And then a lot of the time, especially because horses are obviously left or right-handed and very seldom ambidextrous. One of the things that I do a lot of work on is a figure eight. Oh, bloody phone. Um, is a figure eight. So what I get a horse to forget is whether or not he's right or left-handed. And I've done it with Frenchie, and Frenchie is really so improved by it. So I'm going to and turn. Trot, 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 trot. Good girl. And turn. Good girl. 
Oh, God, you're gorgeous. And turn. And turn. Woo! <laughs> and turn. And whoa. 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 No, we're not going to get a whoa. 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 <laughs> you were enjoying that too much, weren't you? Isn't she wonderful? Aren't you wonderful? Are you wonderful? Are you? Are you wonderful? Are you? Well, would you like to show the, everyone how you canter? Canter, canter. Good girl. Oh, good girl. That was very beautiful. <laughs> Go on then. Go on. Go on, pet. <laughs> you are funny. Good girl. And and turn. Oh. I don't know. And canter, canter, canter. And trot. There's a good girl. There's a good girl. And whoa. <laughs> she just wants to go on, doesn't she? 